Welcome back to Grappling with Insanity. Today we're going to prepare the Day Yuki. Last week while I was grappling, doing some technique with them, I did knee on belly, and I tore a seam. And I'll show you that. So as you see, the seam was torn, and it, it, it's just a single stitch. And it's probably not the best stitch to be on a dummy, but again, it's, it's, you know, you would hope that some of these high stress areas would be at least double stitch. These high stress areas are gonna pop open and you, and you need to be ready to, uh, to repair these because they are gonna break. In this case, what I did is, um, I'll show you, I got a four pack of, uh, a four pack of needles, curved needles, upholstery needles, and I got some upholstery thread. And we're going to stitch up the, the fade loop. Let's go to that. All right. So as you can see here, my seam is a single stitch for a piece that has, this is one piece, this is a piece, this is a piece, this is a piece, this is a piece. The number of pieces here. So the one that's a major bummer is this one right here. They tie this piece and it attaches here just a little bit. And then a little bit of this attaches here. So I gotta bring this, I gotta bring this back up and stitch it like that. It's a really tough seam to have this little piece of string hold that together. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is I, I pulled out a little extra string here so when I re-thread this through back and forth and then pull it, hopefully I can draw that tight. And then what I'm gonna do is take the string and tie it off on this end. And then I also have to go over here and pull out a string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my needle. I may have to get like a thread puller and try to pull some more of this thread out like this kind of tough for the camera that keeps adjusting. See how I pull that out? And now once I get this out here, this is something I can attach the new, the new thread to right here. So what I'm gonna try to do is take the needle and put it in and just use these holes. Stitch it up like this and then pull this end and then pull this end and we'll see how it goes. I have my curved needle and I have some upholstery thread. It's not black thread, but I wanted to get upholstery thread because I figured it'd be stronger. And I don't know what kind of thread was used here, but since we're using, since it's synthetic leather, um, I just wanted to have it a little bit stronger to hold that because I'm sure, you know, I'm gonna have more seams. It's all single stitched in here. So this is a high stressed area, high stress point. Uh, it's bending, it's turning, um, and basically all that I did was I did knee on, side control to knee and belly, and as I pushed down in here, it just popped a seam. Now I made the hole bigger so I could get to the thread. I need to have thread at the end so I can tie it off. So it wasn't quite as big. I mean, it was it was still fairly large. It was probably still about maybe an inch and a half or so. So now what I do is I have this thread here, and I'm just going to. It's probably gonna take me a little bit, so I'll, I'll do a little bit of a video and then pause it because you don't wanna see me do this for however long it's gonna take. But I'm just gonna enter in this hole right here and then I'm gonna feed it out. I probably should have like a thimble or something so I don't jab my finger, but then it just comes out here. All right, and then I'm gonna leave a little bit of a, I'm gonna leave a fairly long tail here, All right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to work into this side and this side's folded over, so it's a little more tricky. And there's probably there's a lot of material here too, so this is going to be this is going to be fairly long, and I got to find the, this hole here. You kind of see where I'm poking a little bit, but it's still kind of flying blind. That's that hole.
this is this this needle is fairly sharp so I probably could create new holes but I'm gonna try to use ones that are here Now, I, what I did is I went on um, uh, online, and anytime I don't know how to do something, I go to uh, I go to YouTube, and there was this upholstery guy doing repairs to a leather. Oops, I don't want to get that mixed up in here. To a leather couch, and obviously he made this look a lot easier. But he gave me a little confidence that, oh, you can do this. So now what it is, I, I pull that in there. And I'm not going to get too tight. I'm not going to constantly pull because I need to still keep a fairly large opening. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the large opening until I get down in here. And then I'm going to draw tight. So I'll do a couple more. And then I'll uh, maybe time lapse it for you so it's not so long and drawn out. Again, I have to pull this. this see how it's kind of like about a half an inch or so of material. And again, I want to try to use these holes that are already established. And I kind of can see by putting a little pressure on the material where the needle is. All right, so this work, this repair, is not for the impatient. I'm, I'm a pretty patient person, but this seam is not going to look as nice as this one, because the way the impression I get is this was folded over, they ran a seam down, and then they 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 did it inside out, and I don't have that luxury. I have um, I have to work with this seam that I have right now. It looks pretty. Frankenstein-ish here, Frankenstein. Um, so what I'm doing is I, I, I sew it up to here. It made it difficult bridging this these four pieces together. So what I did is I tied it off here, and this is not real. I'm not real happy with this side um, because it's still pretty loose. So I don't know if I can get that tighter, but we'll see. If I can, I will, but I might have to, I don't know what yet, but this side, basically I'm just preventing it from ripping anymore. So it's not gonna be pretty, but uh, right now I can't put, <laughs> I can't put duct tape, but like Red Green says, if uh, the women don't find you, you handsome, at least they should find you, they should find you handy.
that as good as she's gonna get, I think. We finished this, selling up the Fave Yuki, and you can see it's not, it's not sexy. We did the best we could. He's ready to go back into action, and we'll see what else happens from there. But the process took a little bit longer. Uh, it, it, um, I was worried about. Uh, it was a little more difficult to pull, like I wanted to. But I wanted to do a stitch, 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 and then pull both ends, and then I wanted to cinch together. And it, it, it wasn't working as well as I wanted it to. Um, so what I did is I stitched one way and I stitched another way and then I tied them off and I kind of did that little motion I kept, kept pulling it um, taut as I was going along. So that's your repair for the Fave Yuki. Thanks.